So this will be the introductory video to anything cholangitis. Okay, so um, this is more of like introduction and understanding cholangial pancreatography. Okay, that's just how I'll name it on YouTube. All right, because in this video, I'm kind of like talking about everything that's related to anything what cholangitis. Okay, so simply, cholangitis is what inflammation of the bowel ducts. Okay. So there could be that there's an inflammation of the bowel duct inside the liver that's intrahepatic cholangitis. Uh, it could be that the bowel ducts are inflamed on the outside, all right? That's the extrahepatic, that means it's outside the liver, all right? So that's just it. We talk about the definition, talk about the types, talk about the causes, um, talk about the symptoms, talk about the complications, all right? And they talk about a possible diagnosis and treatment. So by the time you go through this video, you must have known everything you need to know about what cholangitis. All right. So um, just like we explained, it's just inflammation of the bowel duct. Okay. Cholangitis is inflammation of the bowel duct, and this can be caused by several things. It could be that there's a bacterial infection, inflammation. It could be that there's an obstruction by gallstones, lead to what inflammation. It could be other factors like trauma, okay, there's a injury to it. Do you understand? So that's it. And we'll talk about it more on the causes, all right? So the bowel ducts are things that actually carry bowel from the liver and gallstones to the small intestine, all right? And this bowel will help you to digest fat. So can you see where this problem is linking at, all right? From the liver now, we are not talking about the digestive system and all the stuff, right? If there's no bowel, there will be problem. Okay? So talking about the types of uh, cholangitis, we have the acute cholangitis. This one is a sudden onset. Okay? It's just suddenly, there's inflammation of the bowel duct. Okay? And it's mostly caused by what? Bacterial infections. Alright? There could be chronic cholangitis. This one has been there over a long time, all right? So you're talking about long-term inflammation, often due to obstruction or autoimmune disorders, all right? Then we're talking about primary sclerosing cholangitis, okay? This one also that there's a chronic inflammation, there's carrying of the bowel duct, and it's often associated with what? Autoimmune disorders, all right? Then we have the secondary cholangitis. Uh, it is caused by another conditions such as what gallstones or tumors all right so there could be gallstones or tumors all right that's a secondary cholangitis they're talking about the possible causes uh let's talk about the causes in details it could be bacterial infections bacterial infections are the most common causes all right it could be obstructions like due to gallstones tumors and all the stuff right it could be that there was some um, autoimmune disorders right it could be some parasitic infections it's rare though <laughs> you see in bracket they're rare it could be some trauma or injury to the bowel duct, just like I told you guys. All right. So talking about the symptoms, there'll be abdominal pain, there'll be fever, there'll be jaundice. Jaundice is yellow coloration of the skin and the eyes. All right. There could be dark urine and pale stools. All right. There could be nausea and vomiting. There could be chills. All right. Now talking about the complications, if this condition is left untreated, if there's inflammation of the bowel duct and you leave this in untreated, what could be the complications, all right? So one of the complications that if it is a bacterial infection, this infection can spread into blood and you have the whole body reacting to it and that's what we call the sepsis, okay? Then, contents could be held back for a very long time, okay? And this will lead to what? Pulse formation. Collection of pulse is what is known as what? Abscess, all right? So there could be biliary cirrhosis, okay? There'll be pancreatitis. There could be risks, increased risks of what? Developing a gall bladder cancer, all right? So talking about the diagnosis, you know that uh, the bowel duct or the gall bladder is kind of like buried deep into the abdomen. So if you want to know that there's something wrong with a structure inside the abdomen, you might want to do some imaging studies, all right? So imaging studies like blood tests, do liver function tests, bilirubin, sorry, okay, imaging studies are just one of it, okay? So for the diagnosis now, 
you, you want to confirm it okay so you could do blood tests like liver function bilirubin the imaging studies now you are using all those machines to know what is happening inside without invading the person okay so you do ultrasound ct scan mri scan and all the stuff right they could do some endoscopic retrograde what cholangiopancreatography okay they could do some percutaneous what transhepatic cholangiography okay then treatment now if it is bacterial infections of course you want to use the antis of those bacteria as antibiotics then you could do some endoscopic or surgical removal of the obstruction all right then you could do some medications just to manage what symptoms and prevent possible complications from the disease then liver transplant that's in severe cases all right so guys that's it about introduction and understanding what cholangitis from the definition to the types to the causes symptoms complications diagnosis treatment that's it bye for now